Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to a classic Feature Friday. Of course, my name's Bobby, and uh, yeah, you you heard me correctly. Uh, classic Feature Friday. Uh, you know, we've done so many of these that I feel like every once in a while it's fun to look back and talk about a feature that's been around for a while that maybe I think people either don't know about or uh, I sometimes see people writing in to the support teams uh, and. I just figured I'd, I wanted to bring this one up because it came up this week and I think it's a pretty neat feature that's not talked about. So uh, I imagine there are some of you out there who have from time to time performed work uh, on behalf of another business or on behalf of another client to somebody else, but you still want to bill your client or the people that you're doing the work on uh, their behalf for. So. Uh, yeah, that is possible. It's actually called third-party billing in Repair Shopper, and there's no settings that you need to do to actually turn it on. Pretty straightforward to do. What you need to do is have both parties actually be customers in your database, and then for the people that uh, you're actually doing the work for, so the uh, client of the person you're working for, or uh, rather, wherever you're actually doing the physical work, you're gonna to wanna to create the ticket for those people. And then you would do the appointment, on-site stuff, all the work, all that stuff behaves just as normal. You'd add your charges to the ticket cart, just like you normally would, and then you would generate your invoice as normal, again. What's different here, though, is once you're on the invoice, if you click Change Customer, you'll get a pop-up that says customer name and then you just type in the person you're looking for here and hit change customer. When you do that the page is going to refresh and there's going to be two customers listed now. There's going to be a bill to customer and then there's going to be a ticket customer job. And uh, yeah this is third-party billing and what that means is, is that this person will no longer have the invoice assigned to them but the ticket will still be assigned and linked uh, to this invoice. And you can bill the person that you're uh, wanting to bill directly. This is also handy if you maybe have a client that owns two businesses, but they only wanna have one of the uh, locations billed or one of the businesses billed as like the, the main business. Uh, this is a way to achieve that as well. Um, again, there's no setup to actually uh, turn on, turn off or anything like that. It's automatically there. Uh, all you need to do is perform the work for one customer, generate an invoice just as you normally would, hit change customer, and then search through your customer database and, and then hit save. And once again, the page will refresh and you'll see a bill to customer as well as a ticket customer. Um, and then of course, if you wanted to, you can go into your, your templates and you can set up an invoice template for this specific situation and then use the recent feature we released for invoice templates to generate a specific invoice when you're doing third party uh, just so that you have a nice clean looking invoice as well if you want it's not mandatory and uh, yeah uh, hopefully people like this um, I've tried it a couple times before and uh, I, th I feel like I had a ton of people who were like yeah this is really cool but then I had some people disappointed which you know uh, not what I'm looking to do I'm just looking to educate more people on how to use repair shopper and maybe some of the lesser known features so uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if you like this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.